Today our growth point teaching comes from Proverbs chapter 10, verse number 25. When the storm has swept by, the wicked are gone, but the righteous stand firm. What is the storm? The whirlwind or hurricane that will sweep away the wicked. Some believe it is simply the storms of life, the problems that we experience simply by living here on this earth. Job remarked that the few days of a person's life here on this earth are filled with all kinds of challenges and difficulties. Throughout the Old Testament we see that storms and whirlwinds are symbols of God's impending judgment. And this understanding best fits with the context of this particular verse. Two storms of divine judgment are looming over those individuals who this verse refers to as wicked. The first is God's judgment upon an ungodly world in the tribulation period that is coming in the last days of human history. And as we grow closer to the coming of Jesus, we can see the clouds gathering and hear the thunder of this storm rumbling in the distance. And the second judgment is the great white throne judgment when all those individuals who do not have a personal relationship with Jesus will be judged. They will be sentenced and they will be banished into the lake of fire for eternity. In this particular verse, those individuals referred to as the wicked will be consumed by God's judgment, but the righteous are established for eternity. They will stand firmly upon the foundation of Jesus Christ because they have placed their hope and their confidence in Jesus Christ. They have taken Jesus Christ to be their Savior and to be the Lord of their life, the ruler of their life. So the righteous will stand firm forever. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this particular verse in Proverbs that reminds us that the righteous will stand firm forever. May we be considered part of the righteous. Help us to choose to follow you and to live for you all the days of our lives. Give us the strength and the wisdom and the understanding that we need to love you, to serve you. Pray this prayer of blessing over you. We ask God to give you complete knowledge of his will and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding, then the way you live will always honor and please the Lord, and your lives will produce every kind of good fruit all the while as you grow, as you learn to know God better and better. We also pray that you will be strengthened with all his glorious power so that you will have all the endurance and patience you need. May you be filled with joy, always thanking the Father. He has enabled you to share in the inheritance that belongs to his people who live in the light. Because of you, Jesus, and the hope of heaven, we believe and we know the best is yet to come. Amen.